Hey friends, I'm Heather. I am an author and an entrepreneur and a driver of fast cars and a lover of travel. And I want to talk to you today about some of the things I've been working on. I haven't done a YouTube video in literally years. I used to podcast and that was super fun and I haven't done that in years. And I am currently in the middle of editing my second romance trilogy, which I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. Um, but I wanted to find a way to talk to people about the experience sort of beyond Instagram. Uh, I'm dabbling a little bit in whether or not I'm going to start a Facebook group for my romance readers. But in the meantime, I've been really inspired by some of my colleagues, fellow writers, entrepreneurs, who are sort of documenting their process on YouTube. And it's not for lack of trying. I have always loved YouTube and I have tried several times to sit down and be consistent with it. And recently I was thinking that this is probably the answer because I have a lot of things to say and some of it just, when I go on to Instagram or even Facebook, I just find that it's just getting lost. And with YouTube, I know, because I'm a consumer too, people can search for things. And so I am a self-published author and it is very difficult to market self-published books. I think it's very difficult to market any kind of books, quite frankly. But when you're, you know, the the cook and the wash and the the candlestick maker or whatever the saying is, which I should know because I write. Um, but I I think when you're someone who is creative, marketing is just a drag, and it shouldn't be because it is super creative, and there's lots of things about marketing that I really like doing like creating graphics, writing the stories or the captions that go with social media posts. But as a storyteller, I kind of just want to be able to ramble sometimes. And if you are familiar with any of my work, uh, and don't worry if you're not, it changes all the time. But if you are, you know that I'm a talker. And it turns out that I'm also a writer. So I had written 12 business books, self-published business books over the last eight years. And in 2020, before the pandemic hit, I had joined NaNoWriMo, which is the National Novel Writing Month. Uh, and that happens in November every year. And a friend of mine and I had joined just for something to do. And I wrote this terrible <laughs> story. And, you know, God bless authors' hearts because we think every story is the greatest story ever. Or we feel the pressure to make every story the greatest story ever. And it was just awful. And I can see in hindsight now how terrible that story was. But it was the jumping off point for what is now become six romance novels. And I have my books here. Uh, I'm just going to share them with you quickly before I talk about them. But this was the first series I wrote. And this is called the Blurred Line series. And there are three books in this series. Uh, and they're called If You Met Me First. Uh, heart first and I'll go first and my son <laughs> who's 15 when I showed him these books and I said look I wrote these he was like what are they the first series and I was like oh damn it that would have been a really good name <laughs> but I called them the blurred line series and these three books came from that very terribly written manuscript that I wrote back in 2020 and when I sat down to look at it again in 2023, I, I, and like that's sometimes how the creative process works, you get busy doing other things. I walked away from that manuscript having feel, you know, feeling satisfied that I had written a book from start to finish, regardless of quality. But when I came back to it in 2023, I was really interested in turning it into something. And the same friend and I were talking about going back and, you know, sort of pulling the string of the sweater to see what that could be. Uh, she made several book recommendations to me. They're on my shelf over here. I kept those books um, and I'll do a separate video of the tools and resources that I've been using to be able to write these books, which some would argue is in short order. Um, I have written and published self-published self, self -published six novels now over the span of 
a year, basically, um, based on that first manuscript that I wrote in 2020. So in this in December, at Christmas time of 2023, I, I uh, 2022 rather, I had uh, sat down with this book, um, which featured like an omnipotent narrator, which I now know is the dumbest way to write a book because it's so confusing. And I rewrote the entire book from two perspectives. And that book became If You Met Me First. The reason that I ended up with two more books in this series is because a character in this book, who I originally killed off in the original manuscript, uh, is alive and well in this story. And there was a third character that I only mentioned briefly in the original manuscript that I just loved and I didn't know how to work into the original story. So I gave him his own book and that's Joel. And so I have these three books now and I am excited about them and I love them. And I just, this one especially, I love I'll Go First. I just, I really like the characters in this. I feel like when I got to this third book, and just to be clear, I like pounded out these three books from start to finish in three months. Um, once I got rolling with how do you write a friggin' book, it became much easier for me to um, to put these things on, on paper. And so when I got to the third book, I felt like I knew how to write a good character. And all of the things I was afraid to write in books one and two... I put it in book three and I put it in book three <laughs> hot and heavy. And so that was very exciting for me. So that's the first series. The second series, which I'm currently editing and it's just a slog, is called The Selfish Love Series. And there are three books in this series as well. And the first book is Girls Like You. And the second book is Boys Like Me. And the third book is Men Like Us. And yes, this is a gay romance. And I have never written a gay romance before, but I figured that was okay because I had never written novels before. And with fiction, anything goes. So I'll talk more about the books individually in other videos, but I am currently editing these three books and they're just so pretty. I just love them. Look how pretty they are. Uh, I do all the designs for my covers as well. So if you're wondering who's her designer, it's me. I, I design these books. Um, I have a little bit of a control issue, <laughs> which you'll come to know and love eventually. But when I wrote these books, now this is wild, but I wrote this entire series, which is over a thousand pages. I wrote that entire series while I was editing the Blurred Line series. So I was sending for proofs and I had no idea what I was doing. To be clear, I had to Google a lot and I'll talk about that in upcoming videos of how I got these things to print. But I did a lot of research about cover design and how to make your book look like it belongs on the shelf, right? Like with other books. And when I went into a bookstore and saw what romance novels looked like, I was like, oh, there's, <laughs> what is there like a template? Basically, I mean, there's a formula for how you put a book on a shelf to make it look like all the other books and to make it catch someone's eye and to draw interest there. And so when I was editing these books, which took forever, uh, I would say I spent six months editing them. I only spent three months writing them, but I spent six months editing them. At the same time, while I was sending away for proofs, getting copies, getting crap copies, having to re-edit, 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 I wrote these books and now I'm, you know, six months out of that and editing these now and I'm getting these off the shelf so much faster because now I understand the process. I know the things I need to look for. I understand that there is, you know, not a template, but a formula for doing these things. So that's very exciting to me because I'm learning so much and my brain loves to learn that writing romance novels has become a mild obsession of mine for many reasons. There's so much challenge. There's so much back and forth. There's so much trying to weave together a story and get it right. And ironically, the first books that I had written, I felt were so challenging because the original manuscript was kind of a hot mess. And then I wrote the Selfish Love series, books one, two, and three, no problem, wrote them, no problem. Um, 
And now I'm editing book two, for example, Boys Like Me, and I'm halfway through it, but I only got to chapter three before I realized, oh my god, the plot holes in this thing are just atrocious. And so I'm struggling to get this edited because I want to go back and fix all the mistakes when really I'm just at the line edit piece. So I had to stop doing the line edits and I had to go back and rework the majority of this story, Gail and Ava's story and Boys Like Me. Um, to align with girls like you. So without changing this story, I have to realign the second story. The further irony here is I actually wrote this book first. So my original idea for the Selfish Love series was uh, a dating app trope and, you know, just a casual hookup. And I wanted to explore what could happen if you kind of just let your, your emotions run wild and I actually wrote book two first, knowing I, this is the book I want to write. And then I came back and I wrote book three, totally out of order, but I knew it was going to be book three. And then I sat and I wrote book one, Girls Like You, with Charlie and Willow. And I love these characters too, individually, so in so many different ways than my first characters from the Blurred Line series. And... They're just so much more mature and have so many more red flags, which is so fun. But it's fun for me because there are no rules and yet there are so many rules, but all the rules are flexible and you can approach them from your own perspective, basically, knowing that it's fiction. And if I said it happened, well, then it must have happened. So that's really fun for me. So I just wanted to give you an overview of some of the books that I've written in the fiction genre. I have written lots of nonfiction books as well. Some of them are still available. Uh, most of them aren't. I've just discontinued them. But this has really become a passion of mine over the last number of years. And I am already working on the next book, which I want to say is not going to be a series, but it probably is because I love how challenging it is to bring six characters together under one roof and make that whole storyline work. But that's just kind of an update of what I've been doing and where I've been going with my writing. And if you have followed me at all, or even if this is the first time you've ever seen my face, hello, good to see you again or good to meet you. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. Otherwise, when I'm not writing this, although this takes up a lot of my time right now, I run a consulting company. So I this is my home office. I work from here. I write from here. I do all kinds of fun things in here. And I am an instructional designer. So I help people create online courses, curriculum, training programs, that sort of thing. Uh, and basically, that business has afforded me the time and energy and resources to be able to sit down and, you know, crack out some romance novels, which are, and I haven't said it yet, very smutty. Uh, it turns out I really like writing spicy books. I read a hundred, that's a real number, a hundred romance novels um, and researched those romance novels and researched those authors and really found that if you were just, you know, slow burning it to a kiss at the end, like in the movies, I didn't want to read that. <laughs> so it became challenging for me to overcome the discomfort of is my like my mom and my aunt gonna read this because or if my son ever picked it up and read it he like oh my god but uh whatever it's it's fiction it's art and and there's a place for it and I realize now that it is just wild entertainment I'm not gonna change the world with my smutty romance novels but I am going to entertain people and that is very important to me. And I think that doing the things that you want to do just because you want to do them, regardless of how they turn out, is just a wonderful way to live your life. And I certainly am someone who lives my life like that. And my characters live their lives like that. Just, <laughs> you know, to hell with it all. Who cares? Make it work. And so, yeah, I just wanted to say hi, introduce myself, let you know about what I'm doing. You can go to my website, heatherdevoebooks.com and check out the pre-launch for the Selfish Love series. The preview chapters for these three books are available now. And you can meet Willow and Charlie, and you can meet Gail and Ava, and you can meet Grant and Ellis. And I just love Grant. He's my favorite. 
<laughs> All right. So I'll see you on the flip side and go to heatherdevoebooks.com, grab the preview chapters, and I'll let you know when these suckers are available for purchase. Have a great day, guys.